All right, I'm in the middle of getting this train wreck organized. I've had tools everywhere. I just finished building this bench. I should have made a video about it, but I didn't. But I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm getting organized. I've had stuff in piles for 20 years and I just hit my limit. So one of the things that aggravates me is grinders. Now I've been looking online. There's a bunch of different ideas for how to store your grinders, you know? And I'm in the, I don't buy the, I buy the cheap ones. These 10, $15 grinders from Harbor Freight. Cause I just like have them loaded with different wheels. So I have to swap the disc out. Um, and so the, I, I've been sitting there thinking about it, looking at other people's ideas. And so what I've decided to do is just put a bar up here that they'll hang on. And this will become more evident as I show you what I'm doing. But I just wanted to show you, I tried to do things cheap if I can. And so what this thing is, this is a five foot or what is it? It's a four foot aluminum four foot aluminum ruler okay it was a four foot aluminum ruler seven bucks the thing is you can't even buy a piece of freaking metal at home depot for seven bucks so okay so the way this is going to work this will be mounted up against the wall you'll just take the grinder and it'll just hang on this bar right here right Okay, we need to drill some holes in this because we have to screw it to the wall and we can't, you know, we have to have it um, set back from the wall. And so I'm gonna be using these for spacers. These are big monster electrical crimps, but you could use a stack of washers, a piece of pipe. I mean, whatever that you can use your imagination, just something to kick it out from the wall. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through and do some holes so I can run a screw through this and the, you know, the screw will go through and stick this against the wall. sharp bit it kind of works Yeah, let's see where we want to put this thing. Let's say like right in here somewhere. All right, so the way it's gonna work is we'll have the ruler, then the screw goes through the ruler, and then behind the ruler, we'll have one of these crimps. This is acting as a spacer. And then a washer, and that's it. So let me put the first one in. not all the way in is what I'm gonna do is go put one on the other end then we'll hammer it in we 
minute. All right, I know you can't feel on video, but that thing is solid. There's no flex. It's actually a lot more solid than I thought it would be. I think the wash has really helped. So, there you go. Sweet. Okay, I'm actually happy with it. I mean, for less than 10 bucks, it turned out really good. The one thing, if you decide to do this, that I would recommend is I didn't really put any thought into where I put these screws and so like right here I can't fit another one because this screws in the way and so I mean if I need to add another grinder it'll be easy to take these out and redrill it while it's still on the wall but just think depending on how many grinders you're trying to put up there you might want to put some actual thought into where you put the screws with the spacers but other than that I mean I was thinking about putting some screws in the wall to hang my uh wheels on you know the consumables but for now i just put them in that little tray i use grinders not a lot but more than i want to keep them i had them stored under here in a bin and i was like no and i got so i got like a little grinding area i'm going to add another one of these here i'm going to put wire wheel on this one then add an actual grinder over there but it's a really cheap solution to grinder storage and i think it looks cool I, I decided to put the numbers out just so people would know it was a ruler but you could flip it around it just looked like a piece of aluminum but either way it's i mean and it is solid i could there's no no flex at all so you could as many grinders as you could fit on there you could put on there at least these little cheap ones i don't know if the bigger ones are heavier but anyway i hope that helped y'all man See you later. Just because your room doesn't come with a microwave doesn't mean it doesn't come with a convection oven.